Let's all pretend that we're shocked as to who the Royal League is. Come on, let's all pretend we're shocked. Yeah, that's City, that's my boss, you know that. Clearly, we know where the leaks come from. Why are these leaks being allowed? Why are they taken aback by Meghan Markle all the time? It's like expecting a snake not to bite or attack. That is the nature of the snake. So let's find out who's leaking all this stuff and why are they causing more stress to King Charles and Princess Catherine. This is, I mean, it's like insanity at, at its worst. On March 20th, In Touch magazine, which is a rag magazine that used to be part of the Enquirer and Star magazine, of which Shallon Lester was one of the main editors, she confirmed that before Meghan Markle arrived at the royal family, they couldn't get any info. Everything was suspected, but really they couldn't get any info. After Meghan Markle got there, it was the leaky ship. Leaky ship. On March 20th of this year, In Touch magazine uh, published that on March 22nd, Princess Catherine was going to tell that she had cancer. After her statement was issued, immediately they posted that King Charles has pancreatic cancer with two years to live. I guess they thought, well, the first story checked, so the second story must be true as well. Eugenie has been leaking story after story after story, and King Charles keeps giving her these stories because they want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Why? Harry keeps getting stories by Eugenie and, by, and he, he immediately gives them to Meghan because he wants to please Meghan. That's how brainwashed Harry is. He wants to give those stories to Meghan Markle to keep her happy. Because at the moment, Harry has pissed everybody off. Everybody's angry at him because he's a traitor. He has lied. He has slandered. He has defamed everybody. So the, uh, the only place he has to hang his head on is on Meghan Markle. So as soon as he, he gets some information, immediately it goes to Rachel Meghan Markle. Now in the news, we have that Princess Catherine was forced to make the statement, not because she was timing it when her kids went, because out, because I am pretty sure she would have preferred for not to be put in the situation whereby she is forced to say those things almost crying. Because Meghan Markle most likely leaked that information that she got from Eugenie, who gave it to Harry, who gave it to her, or directly from the palace. What games are they playing? Have they not learned their lesson? And what did Meghan Markle do with the information she received that Catherine is going to announce that she's cancer? Well, as soon as Meghan Markle knows that they ill, she sees that as an opportunity not to be kind to the royal family or to these people who are going through something terrible, but instead to maximize that opportunity in her favor. In this case, the American 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 Riviera Orchard. Apparently she wanted to call it the American Royal Orchard, but she settled for American Riviera Orchard because she couldn't use the word royal. Still, for the time being. Are they, I mean, in the palace, the palace, they are really dumbfounded by the leaks. So they scramble and they do a shit job of putting those things out. And they force the princess to sit there as vulnerable as she is in order for her to say it with her own mouth after all this horrible, this most disgusting <sighs> theories are put out there. People mocking her. You know, by the way, Andy Cohen never apologized to Princess Catherine. He said that, you know, he was called an idiot, but he never said, you know, Princess Catherine, I want to apologize for my words and whatever hurt I caused you. No, please, 
And if I'm wrong, leave it in the comments because I'd like to know. I'd like to know if I'm wrong, but I never heard the word, I'm sorry for the words I said. He said I should have never said those words because they backfired. But I mean, how many times are people gonna give Eugenie, the York girls, and Sarah and Fergie, and yes, Beatrice included, because let's not forget that Beatrice gave Meghan Markle permission to film her Netflix series inside of the Queen's very, very precious uh, little dollhouse that, was, that meant the world to her. Beatrice was in complete charge of that and she knew what Meghan was doing and she still allowed it. Fergie is still in touch with Meghan Markle, feeding her information. Oh, because Harry, Now the palace is taken aback because they refuse to see that Harry, Eugenie, and Meghan Markle are three snakes. They refuse to see it. At what point will they get the snakes bite, the snakes attack? At what point? I, I, mean, I mean, why don't they just tell Meghan? Give them the whole thing. And right now Meghan is getting ready to come back to the UK. I'm going to do a video because she is in the list of people to attend the mass for the Invictus Games on the on May. She's in the list. And we know that Meghan Markle fights to attend parties. So what is it that that is in the heads of people? Oh, there's a royal leak. How stupid do they think we are? Or how stupid are the people working at the palace right now that they're still feeding information to Harry, Eugenie, and Meghan. Do they really think that Meghan is not gonna exploit that? Meghan Markle is a woman without any scruples whatsoever. This woman, you know, it's incredible. They, they really genuinely thought that she was gonna treat them differently than she treated her own father, a man who raised her and gave her everything and whom until 2016 this woman couldn't say nice enough things about. Why do they keep giving this woman ammunition? I am baffled by this, guys, because I really don't get it. This information was so personal and none of William's staff gave that information away. Nobody in William's staff nor Catherine's gave that information away. And only Charles knew that information alongside with Camilla. Yet, that information found its way to Eugenie, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle to the point that a tabloid magazine, a shit thing, published that on Wednesday, Catherine was gonna announce she had cancer. And because it came true, the information was true, they published that Charles has two years to live with pancreatic cancer. Yet nobody's picking up on that story. What is it going to take, I ask you guys, I really wonder, what is it going to take for them to understand that Harry and Meghan are not to be trusted? And neither are they your girls, Beatrice, Eugenie, and Sarah. I, I don't understand, I'm really baffled. 